Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to use required fill variator for drop down list in HP.NET. Before moving ahead, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. So let's start. I will start by adding a drop down list control. I will now add items to the drop down list. The first item will be a default item and hence I will be making use of some text like select fruit and the value will be 0. You can put any value like blank, minus 1 or whatever of your choice. After that I am adding the actual items that is the names of the fruits. Now the drop down list is completed. Let's move to the required fill validator. So I'll add a required fill validator first. The very first property of the required fill validator is error message where you can set the error message of your choice. I am putting it as required. The second property is control to validate where we have to specify the ID of the control to be validated. In this case, it's DDL fruits. And the next property and the most important one for the drop down list is initial value where we have to set the value of the item which will be the default item. This way the required fill validator knows that if a default item is selected, then it has to show an error message. And if any other value is selected, then it will bypass the error message and consider it as a valid value. The last thing I am adding is a button so that when the button is clicked we can verify the validation. So that's it. The drop down list required fill validator and the button has been added. Now we can run the code and see it in action. As you can see, the drop down list is now displaying the default item and when I click the button, the error message is displayed. Now let me select a valid fruit value. So now I am clicking on the button. Form has been submitted, which means I have selected a valid value and the required fill validator has considered it as valid. So with this, we come to the end of this video. The links for the demo and the source code are available in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. See you soon.